Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andy from Magoo Investing. Happy Monday. Uh, when I went on my fishing trip, I had a fantastic time. I caught a lot of nice trout, caught some nice snakes. But when I got back, with all the things that were going on in the stock market, uh, around the world, and some personal things, I decided to take last week off. And I kind of just sat on the sidelines and watched the overall stock market. And last week was pretty wild. We had five days of green. So far on Monday, it seems like things are pretty even. We're getting, it looks like the S&P is up right now and the NASDAQ is down. And we have some, some of the major airline stocks are up today and some of the rest of the market is pulling it down. But in today's video, I kind of wanted to talk about some of the things that I've missed in the stock market for the five days that I did not make videos. And I kind of wanted to talk about the main reason why I'm starting to get pretty worried about the overall stock market. In the past couple weeks, I've been trying to identify undervalued stocks, stuff that you can buy at a discount and hold for a long time. And now at this point, I'm starting to get more worried that these are not great buying opportunities anymore. In the past week, I've been doing a lot of reading and I've been mainly focusing on a book that I own by Warren Buffett. And some of the quotes that he has in that book seems like it really applies to right now. And I kind of wanted to talk about why I'm connecting these quotes to the overall stock market that we're seeing right now. But before we get started, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. You have to do your own research before taking any positions. Also, if you've been enjoying these videos, I really appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe button as it would help my channel out a lot. And with that being said, let's get started and talk about today's topic. So last week was an incredible week for the stock market. The Dow Jones gained 7% and I really cannot remember the last time that I saw the market jump that much in a single week, especially with five green days overall. When you look at that past week, Wednesday and Friday were the big hitting days. Wednesday was huge for the airline stock specifically. There were some stories coming out on Wednesday talking about how the demand for air travel is starting to come back. And as a result, airline stocks shot up. And in addition to the whole airline thing, there's been some positive news about the overall virus, especially stuff coming out of New York, which was probably the hardest hit state in the United States. And so there's a lot of positive stuff coming out from that. And then Friday, you had the unexpected beat in the jobs report, and that shot stocks up. I'm pretty sure the Dow Jones is up over 3% this past Friday. And so overall, there were 2.5 million jobs added during that time, and there was an expected loss of around 800,000. So that was a huge beat. And so when I woke up in the morning, I got a text from my dad saying, are you ready to watch the fireworks? And I was expecting the market to react well to it, but I didn't think it was that good of news, but turns out I was wrong and the stock market jumped. You could even describe it as it's soaring. It was up 3% and that is huge for the overall market. It was really interesting looking at the numbers that came out, where these jobs are coming from. And so there was 2.5 million jobs added and there was 390,000 jobs added in the healthcare and social work sector. But out of that, 250,000 of it came from dentistry. And I remember seeing that from a couple of tweets this past week, and I was kind of surprised. I was like, out of all the places, there's a lot of new jobs coming back, especially in restaurants and leisure, but seeing that many new jobs in dentistry was really surprising to me. And so as a result of those added jobs, the unemployment rate is around 13.3%, which is the highest it's been in a long time, but it's lower than it's been at its peak during the pandemic. And so 13.3 doesn't really do a lot when you just show the numbers. So I kind of wanted to show the historical data to put that in perspective. And when I show the historical data for the unemployment rates during the previous recessions, you can see that we've never had an unemployment rate this high in the post-World War II era. And when I show how many jobs were lost in the past couple months and compare it to the entire 2010s, we almost lost an entire decade's worth of jobs in just a couple months. And so when I'm putting this into perspective, yes, that beat on the jobs report is fantastic, but the fact that things are jumping 3% overall, when we still have the highest unemployment rate we've had in the past 60 plus years, and the fact that we've almost lost an entire decade's worth of new jobs in just a couple months, has me pretty worried overall. So now that I've kind of talked about the reason why the market reacted so positively this past week, I wanted to talk about why I'm starting to get really worried about the overall stock market. I've had a lot of free time in the past week, my classes are finally finishing up, and so I read an entire Harry Potter book in around two days, and then I've also been reading uh, University of Berkshire Hathaway, which is Berkshire Hathaway, which is owned by Warren Buffett. And reading this, there was a quote that really stuck out to me, and it's really applicable to the overall stock market right now. And so that quote is, be fearful when other people are greedy, and be greedy when people are fearful. And when I look at the overall stock market right now, I'm starting to lean towards the fact that investors are becoming very greedy overall. Greed isn't really something that you can just look at the overall market, look at one number and kind of get an idea of how greedy or fearful people are. But there is an index that has been made to try to quantify the overall fear to greed. And when you look at it right now, it is considered to be greedy. And so it's not the highest it's ever been. But when you look just a couple months ago, it was pretty fearful. But when I talk about some of the other factors, especially the fact that the Nasdaq just hit all time highs, I just want to look back. And so just a couple of months ago, before the pandemic, 
things have been going really well. We were finishing up the longest bull market in the history of the stock market and things were going really well. And I was pretty fearful that things were gonna happen. And I had been warning about that since the past summer. And so when we got to that point, things were going really well. Pandemic just knocked everything out of whack. And now we are back at all time highs for the NASDAQ. Are we better off than we were just a couple months ago? No. But the whole reason that the stock market moves is based off of investor sentiment. And so based off of the positive news that we've had recently, and maybe some of the damage from the pandemic wasn't as bad as people were expecting, we're hitting all time highs right now. And I just don't feel comfortable taking a position in any new companies right now based off of the numbers that I've been seeing. I saw a tweet this morning that said that the S&P 500 is currently 9% higher than the kind of consensus estimates for where the S&P 500 was gonna finish the year. And at this point, we are not even halfway done with the year. And that data was the farthest gap that has been seen in the stock market since around 2000. And so seeing these numbers that don't really match up, the fact that we're hitting all time highs as things are still not back to normal, has me really fearful and makes me feel that the overall stock market has become very greedy at this point. Looking at Boeing, Boeing has been one of the bright spots. I have been talking about Boeing for the past couple months. They've had a lot of problems in the past year and a half, and in the past five days, they're up more than 50%. And so there's been some incredible volume traded on the stock. And this isn't a brand new stock. This isn't something where you don't have a lot of historical data. Boeing is a member of the Dow Jones 30. And as a result of this incredible recovery that they've seen in the past five days, Boeing has been pulling up the overall Dow Jones. And so when I look at that, there's just some numbers that are coming out of Boeing that's just kind of shocking to me. And so on Friday, it had its highest volume of shares traded ever. And then just the first half hour of Monday, it had more shares traded than any overall session in 2017 or 2018. And that's just crazy to think about. So people are feeling very optimistic that Boeing is gonna be able to recover, even though most of the problems that I've identified in prior videos are still present. There are no brand new orders. You still have the grounding of the 737 MAX planes. And so I don't really understand why Boeing is being pushed up so high. I understand why the airlines are coming back a little bit, but when I look at Boeing, it just doesn't seem justified to jump 50% in five days when a lot of the root problems that push the stock down in the first place have not been fixed. And so when I see this disconnect of where the stock market is moving based off of what I'm kind of expecting, it makes me feel very hesitant to consider taking any positions. And that's why I'm starting to get very worried about the overall stock market. Does this mean I'm going to be selling these shares that I currently own? No, but I do have a couple thousand dollars just kind of sitting on the side earmarked to go into investments in the future. But as of right now, I do not see any fantastic opportunities. I love looking on this channel for fantastic opportunities that I can buy for a long-term investment. And I've been doing very well with that since the pandemic started. But at this point, I'm looking at the overall market and I don't see a lot of fantastic opportunities. It seems like everything is very overextended and I don't really feel comfortable taking any new positions right now. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but right now it just kind of feels morally wrong that things are hitting all-time highs while we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, things have gotten better, but it's very possible that we're gonna hit a phase two of this virus and things are gonna get worse again. And so the fact that things are just kind of skyrocketing at this point to pre-pandemic highs just doesn't make me feel very confident overall. One of the ways that I like looking at how the stock market has been moving is the ratio of stocks hitting 52 week highs versus lows. And during the pandemic, there was a lot of 52 week lows. For people that have Robinhood and have notifications for when stocks hit lows, I was getting those pretty much every day. And now at this point, we have overtaken 52 week highs, which means that stocks are hitting 52 week highs more frequently than they're hitting 52 week lows. And so things are recovering to pre pandemic levels. And I just don't feel comfortable about that right now. So right now it does not feel like the time for me to add to my positions. At this point, I have plenty of money invested in the stock market and I have done very well in the past couple months. I will be making a portfolio recap because in the past month, a lot of things have happened with my portfolio. I've added to a lot of positions and things have gone very well. And I do want to show that off. But at this point, I have money earmarked to go into investments and I just don't feel comfortable adding to it right now. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the overall stock market. Do you feel like people are being very greedy right now? Do you think that the incredible returns that we've seen so far in June have been justified? Or do you think it's just some of the naiveness of the overall investor sentiment pushing the stock market up to all time highs? I'd love to know what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.